Hello everyone! Yes, this is very, very unusual for me to open up something from Yu-Gi-Oh! I think I've only opened one particular thing from Yu-Gi-Oh! on this channel. But the entire animated series is on Netflix in the Netherlands as we speak. And so me and my girlfriend were watching the entire show. And thus I just had to buy something that reminded me of the good old days when stuff wasn't so complicated as it is now. And thus I found this box, a collector's box from Yugi and Kaiba. Um, it contains a starter pack, uh, starter deck for each, uh, special promo for each, and three boosters from each. Now then, what does that mean? Who knows? Let's find out. Oh, this is going to be a trip down memory lane. Urgh. Well, at least I think. Right. There we have it. First of all, let's go and check out. Oh. Let's, uh, ooh. let's uh, check out these two promos. Of course. These two cards are the... Um, yeah, the poster boys for both of the decks. We have the Dark Magician, a uh, key card for Yugi throughout the series. Uh, yeah. And we have a Blue Eyes White Dragon, key card for Kaiba, of course. Now then, I won't go over what the cards do. These are obviously just normal monsters. Because I just got back into the game and I just recently figured out how to play it yet again. So I'm not going over all of those cards. Right, then we get two starter decks. One is a Yugi deck, Reloaded, and one is a Kaiba deck, Reloaded. Now then, I don't know what that means, but it must be good. And some boosters, um, Duelist packs for Yugi and for Kaiba. I presume they are separate sets containing cards for a set duelist um yes oh god that's some powerful sticky tape oh really hope that doesn't damage the cards you know what i'm going to open that a different way let's uh, go over through the decks first let's open up yugi starter deck first um right how does that work just like that. There is a playmat. A beginner's guide. All right. A deck list. And some more that you can buy. All right. Very exciting. I think I opened it the wrong way. Could be me, but... How do you open this? <sighs> Just get out. Come on. He Oh my god. How does this even work? Maybe the other side. Let's take a look. Right, the bottom. All right, so um first card we see is a dark magician and oh my I think it has a texture on it. Oh, I love me some cards with texture. All right. Let's get the cellophane foil off. Oh, yes. Oh, I love this. I hope you guys can see this nicely. The light is really messing with this card. Oh, my God. This is amazing. One Dark Magician. Oh, and another Dark Magician. But this time um, a non-foil. So, so you already have three Dark Magicians including the promo. That is very nice. Uh, we have Mystical Elf. Oh, I used to run this in my deck way back. Used to run a defensive deck, 2000 defense monsters. Just uh, sacrifice them for the blue eyes and uh, go, go, go. That was my strategy. Some traps and uh, magic to uh, contain the field and well, all right. Enough talk. Giant Soldier of Stone, one of these other 2,000 creatures, 2,000 defense creatures. Summoned Skull, iconic card for Yugi. Uh, Neo the Magic Swordsman, yeah, we've uh, heard of him. A Gemini Elf, all right. Dark Blade. 
Karibo. Yes, we cannot live without Karibo. Buster Blader. Nice. Four Star Ladybug of Doom. Yeah. Silly, silly names. Now, this is what I remember from Yu Gi Oh! Silly creatures with silly names. Oh, and the Dark Magician Girl. Oh my god. I remember back in the days when this card was first released in uh, an English set. It was a secret rare, I believe, and me and my friends couldn't get a hold of it. And uh, I really wanted the Dark Magician Girl because my favorite card is the Dark Magician. I wanted to make a deck out of these and. I never got a hold of one. But now I have one. Yay! The Skilled White Magician times two. Skilled Dark Magician times two. The Old Vindictive Magician. The Breaker. Oh, Breaker, the Magical Warrior. Double Coston. Uh, Silent Swordsman, level three times two. We have a Silent Swordsman, level five. Green Gadget. A Red Gadget. Yellow Gadget, Electric Virus, a Magician's Valkyria. Isn't that just a Dark Magician girl? Hmm. Looks like it. Uh, the Tricky. Now, most of these cards I haven't seen in the show maybe yet. I don't know. We're at uh, Season 2 at the moment. So, hmm. Right. We have a Dark Hole. Very good card. Swords of Revealing Light. Oh, yes. Iconic. Black Pendant. Mystical Space Typhoon. Uh, Mage Power, Book of Moon, uh, Thousand Knives, Dark Magic Attack, Magical Dimension, Ancient Rules, uh, Magicians Unite, Soul Taker, Shard of Greed, Trap Hole, I remember that one. Wabaku, oh yes, that's a good one as well. Uh, Mirror Force, nice, we get a Mirror Force. Spellbinding Circle, oh. This is a great card as well. Uh, Call of the Hunted. Magical Cylinder. Miracle Restoring. Zero Gravity. And Rising Energy. So that's the Yugi deck. Now I have absolutely no clue if these cards are any good in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. I really have no clue. Uh, same for the Kaiba deck. Uh, I haven't played since... Uh, what was it? Labyrinth of Nightmare. So yeah, <laughs> uh, figure out Urgh. where I'm from. Right, Kaiba deck. I think we get two blue eyes as well. Woo, just look at that. That's just one gorgeous blue eyes. Wow. Where is the... Uh... Ah, there it is. Oh my God, just look at that. It's amazing. I love it. So, Blue Eyes White Dragon times two in the deck, and we have a promo, so yet again we have three. We have an Aquamadur, also a creature with 2000 defense. I used to run this as well. Lajin, the mystical genie of the lamp. Battle Ox. Uh, Oct Opticlops. All right. The Dragon Dwelling in the Cave. Luster Dragon. Egghead Cannon. Uh, Mad Dog of Darkness. Vorce Raider, Alexandrite Dragon, uh, Wattail Dragon. These are the normal creatures, the monsters. Twin Headed Behemoth, a Yomi Ship, Des Feral Imp, Kaiser Seahorse times two, Chaos Necromancer, a Blade Knight, Horus the Black Flame Dragon level four, uh, Horus the Black Flame Dragon level six. Cybernetic Cyclopean, Puppet Plant, wow, look at that, <laughs> silly plant, uh, Death Mosquito, Tiger Dragon, Vanguard of the Dragon, Divine Dragon Apocrylith. Uh, oh, right then, uh, Interplanetary Purply Thorny Dragon. <laughs> oh my god, what a silly, silly name. That is just amazing. Uh, Dark Hole. Soul Exchange. Nice. Tribute to the Doomed. Rush Recklessly. Mystical Space Typhoon. Offerings to the Doomed. Stamping Destruction. Enemy Controller. Uh, burst Stream of Destruction. Shrink. Shield Crush. 
Silent Doom, Draconic, no, Dragonic Tactics, Shard of Greed, another trap hole, uh, Sakuretsu Armor, Shadow Spell. Oh, I remember this card. Yes, I remember this. This used to be a very good card. Like I said, I don't know if it is still a good card, but yeah, used to be a good card. Uh, widespread Ruin, Threatening Roar, Birthright, and Damage Gate. Right, so these are the two decks that you get from this pack, and another uh, deck list, another play mat, another rules booklet. Now then, to the part where we open random packs. These are packs of five cards each, and well, what do we get? Five cards in every pack. Entire set includes 17 common cards, seven rare cards, four super rare cards, and two ultra rare cards. Right, no specific card uh, rarity is guaranteed to exist within an individual pack, box, or case unless otherwise indicated. Right, so it could be just all commons then? Oh, well, really hope not. First pack for the Yugi set. Queen's Knight. Big Shield Gardener. Ah, I know that one. Green Gadget. Brain Control. And a Dark Magician. Nice. A regular one. Um, are these... No, they... this is actually a different one because this one has a gold stamped name. And the one from the... Uh, Pre-constructed deck is black net uh, black letters. Nice. Uh, yet another dark magician. Now I have four from this pack alone. Now I really, really love this kind of reprint because it's very nostalgic for uh, people like me who just watched the show and used to play way back. Uh, right, Black Lost Ritual, Jack's Knight, King's Knight. Yellow gadget, and we have magical hats. Oh, nice! Oh, this card. I really wonder how it works in the game. Must be really totally different than the show. Now, then, I'm not going to try and uh, rip this one uh, apart, so I will instead open it like this. And uh, let's hope that works. And it does. Again, Big Shield Gardner, King's Knight, Jack's Knight, Buster Blader, and Monster Reborn. Woohoo! I really am amazed that's not in the in the in the deck. Well, well, we have another iconic Yugi card. Very, very awesome. And by the looks of it, I see they still have the E N in front of the numbers. Does that still imply that these are printed in the in Europe? I know back in the day um, there was a difference that some uh, tournaments didn't allow European cards in America and vice versa. American cards weren't used in Europe on tournaments. Is that still the case? Because I really don't have a clue. Please let me know in the comments below for those of you who do know. Uh, just a reminder, I'm ju just a noob in this game. Just returned. Right, so that's it for the uh, Yugi cards. So we get a Monster Reborn. We get a Magical Hats and a Dark Magician. Not too bad if I say so myself. Three iconic cards. I really love to play. Now then, for the Kaiba cards. Yeah, let's just... No, let's just try and rip it open like we did with a Yugi. The last pack. Ooh, I see a Dark Clown. Right. There we have it. Sagi, the Dark Clown. Cloning. Hitotsume Giant. Enraged Battlelocks. And we have Kaiser Seahorse. Now, I don't remember this from uh, the series. Maybe it still has to uh, be introduced. I don't know. Uh, all right, cool. Wow. Next pack. Sorry, I don't do this on camera, but yeah, those packs are really stuck together. Ring of Defense, the Flute of Summoning Dragon, Ancient Lamp, 
Z Metal Tank, and we have a Force Raider. I don't remember that either. Unless I skipped over something. Well, I do remember the Flute of Summoning Dragon, of course. It's a very old card. From way back. The original Kaiba starter deck. Alright, final pack, come on. Let it be something neat. Come on. Alright, polymerization. Very useful for certain cards. Enraged Battle Ox. Another Hitotsume Giant. Another Cloning. And we have another Force Raider. Well, well, well. That's too bad. I was really hoping for a uh, another rare instead of the, this one. Alright. Well, that's that. I get two beautiful arts over here. Just look at those. Oh. Two starter decks full of ancient stuff. So let me know in the comments below. Um, are these cards still useful today? Like uh, these two? Are they still being played? I have no clue. And if so, why? They're just vanilla creatures. They don't do anything. So let me know. Please. Curious. Thank you all for watching. And see you guys maybe another time. Bye bye.